If you guys came here to hear me talk trash or bash Lojo, AO, and Norm, then you came to the right video. No, I'm kidding, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not gonna bash those guys. They're like brothers to me. I love each and every one of them. But we've all seen the comments on YouTube. We've all seen the DMs on Instagram, Facebook posts, and everything you can think of in between. Lojo just posted a video about this. Though I wasn't necessarily involved super hardcore with those guys in that little trio y'all saw last summer with AO, Norm, and Lojo, uh, I do have a lot of history with those guys, specifically, or more specifically, with uh, Lojo and Norm. From about 30,000 subscribers to where my channel is right now, I built it completely with Norm. So, the little backstory as to why I wasn't necessarily involved as much last summer when them guys were absolutely killing it. I mean, it was a really cool trio. What was that? Oh, I thought it was raining. Trey's out here fishing right now. Trey, catch one for the camera, okay? I'm gonna try. All right. Yeah, so the reason that I, I feel like I wasn't really involved with uh, everything they had going on last summer is 100% my fault. That was, it was all on me. I started making some money, started spending my money on the wrong things. I wasn't reinvesting it into the business like you should, like you saw. I mean, you watch a Norm video or an AO or a Lojo, you know, it's like you're watching a, a Netflix video series. Like, I mean, it's just crazy. So I started buying stuff. I bought a brand new truck, a brand new Ford Explorer, a very expensive Can-Am, just the other bunch of dumb stuff that I didn't need so I wasn't reinvesting into the channel like I should have been doing. And uh, at the end of the day, all that stuff is just stuff. None of it matters. So any of my younger audience out there or any of the people around my age, don't try to buy things to impress other people because that just, it's, they call that keeping up with the Joneses and it's just not, I promise you from firsthand experience, it's just not worth it. Anyways, so hard lesson learned. But I personally feel like I will forever be indebted to Norm because had it not been for Norm coaching me along the way, showing me the ins and outs, the do's and don'ts of YouTube, I would be nowhere near where I am right now. And honestly, probably would have even given up YouTube without his help. And speaking of Norm, for those that have been asking, why haven't I been filming with Norm? Why hasn't Norm been filming with me? I don't want to get too much into this. I don't want to spoil anything he's got going on. But I assure you, in the past, what month is it? It's April? Yeah. In the past four months, we filmed some of the craziest things you're going to see on Fisherman Norm's channel, but it's it just, that's all I'm going to say about it. I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it, but we have in fact been filming quite a bit together. Uh, it just hasn't been posted yet. It's in the works. It's all being professionally edited right now. It just takes time for those really big scale videos to come out. So it's going to happen. Trust me. Now as for Lojo, I started filming with Lojo. I think the first time I ever filmed with him was probably in like 2017. Uh, him and Norm were collabing all the time. They didn't live too far apart. And we just met each other. I think the day that I met uh, Lojo was on YouTube, actually. I was looking up how to fish a buzz bait. Clicked on his video. He had 206 subscribers, and I had like 108 subscribers. And we all see where that is now. I mean, Lojo's absolutely killing it. And uh, he's always been a very good friend to me. And also for Lojo, we're going to be at Gunnersville filming and collabing in, I think, about a week, right, Trey? Sounds about right, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, about, I think it's next week we'll be there with Lojo filming and collabing. And about two weeks after that, uh, we're going to be doing a Guggen week, I believe, at Lojo's house as well. So, Lojo and I are still on very good terms and always will be if I have anything to do with it. have nothing against him at all. Love him like he's my big brother. Now, for AO, I haven't filmed as much with AO uh, just because, like Lojo was saying in his video, uh, that was Lojo's quote-unquote cameraman for a little while. But the first time I met him, I'm telling you, I just knew in my soul, that dude had something special inside of him. He's one of the absolute, if not the best, fishing, boat building, survival, camping, do it yourself, everything else you can think of. He's one of the best on YouTube to do it, hands down. I've had quite a few hour plus long phone call conversations with him about YouTube, content creation, and just life in general. And I think nothing but good things about him. And again, just as Lojo and Norm, I uh, will forever and always be as good a friend possible as I can to AO. Dude's got a heart of gold and absolutely enjoys every, like, every single thing you could think of about content creation. I mean, the, he, the dude's an animal when it comes to creating content, so. Freaking genius, one of the best to do it. We've also got plans to film some really cool survival challenge stuff with AO, and uh, I don't want to spoil any of that either, but again, coming soon. Now, at the end, what? Let me get in there right quick. What are you doing? I need a bait. Oh, this thing? Yeah, Hang on. Bait. Hang on a second. So at the end of the day, they're all grown men. They all make their own decisions. Um, I don't know any specifics about the whole situation that went down. I was out of the loop on that, but I also did not 
put myself in the loop, if that makes sense. I didn't want to intrude on any of their business. If they wanted to speak to me about it, specifics, details, whatever, they would have done that. And, you know, even though we're all great friends, they have no obligation to do that. If AO and Norm want to go off, branch off, and do their own thing, that doesn't mean that I'm still not going to film with them, because I definitely will, and I will also definitely film with Lojo. Like I said, next week, going to film with Lojo, a week and a half, two weeks after that, Guggen Week at Lojo's house. And then uh, Norm's in Mexico right now. As soon as Norm gets back from Mexico, I talked to him on the phone the other day. We're going to be filming. So uh, there's no smoke in between, uh, in between anyone. I think it was just a business decision. You know, I think uh, each of them made the decision that they thought was best for them. And that's okay. If by chance they all link up later on down the road, they're going to kill it. They're going to crush it. Whether they link back up and film together or whether they don't. All of them are going to eat. All of them are going to kill it. Nonetheless, I consider them all, all three of them dudes, very, very good friends of mine. And like I said, if I have anything to do with it, that'll never change. Now, lastly, for Guggen, because I've seen a lot of comments on uh, some of my videos here recently about leaving Guggen, and that is not the case whatsoever. Like, you can go back years on my channel. Uh, I'll pop some stuff up on the screen. But years and years and years, I mean years. Like before Guggen was the actual Guggen squad, like I was rocking all of their stuff, followed them all along the way. And uh, one day they noticed me and then now here we are. Anyways, I'm fully 100% still with Guggen and that is exactly where I wanna be. So to wrap it up, Norman AO, I guess they are no longer with Guggen, but that's okay. They're grown and they can make their own decisions. They're gonna kill it regardless. Lojo, myself, we are. We're gonna kill it. We're gonna do the best we can to provide the best entertaining content to you guys that we possibly can. But they're not with Guggen, so their codes don't work. Code Yakpack still works though. Anyways, I hope this helps you guys in any way it possibly can. Kind of clears the air. I know Lojo did a very good job explaining his, you know, little portion, his side. And I just felt like I needed to give mine because I've, though I wasn't involved in their trio last summer, uh, definitely have a lot of involvement with them over the years. So my name was brought up uh, quite a bit. I got a lot of messages on Instagram and asking why I wasn't filming with them and whatnot. And I just wanted to clear that up. There's no smoke with me and any of those three dudes. Love them to death. They're like my brothers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Love you guys. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next adventure. Peace.